You know I love you, but you know I really prefer to use the keyboard when I'm making my videos. You're a great mouse, but the thing is, you're just not good enough for every task. So I need to let you go. Yeah, let's go. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit faster with this thing. Have you seen this far? This is a keyboard. So I've been editing video for a long time now. And one of the things that made me faster to edit videos was keyboard shortcuts. So in this video, I'm going to ditch the mouse. Well, not, not completely. We are still friends, but I'm going to show you five basic keyboard shortcuts that you need to know if you're going to get faster at editing. So let's jump into the computer and I will show you how. Well, I'm not going to jump into the computer, are you crazy? I'm going to take you to the computer. I'm going to teleport you into the computer and we're going to edit. So let's start off with the simple things. So V on your keyboard is the selection tool. And the selection tool, you can select whichever clip you want and drag them around on your timeline. So right now I'm just organizing some clips and I'm just shuffling them around. So that's pretty simple. But let's say you want to cut something and I want to trim the end of this clip because I don't need it. Well, you could use C on your keyboard and that is the razor tool. And the razor tool will simply just make a cut so you can drag this away from your clips and you can delete it by hitting backspace and to delete the empty space you can also click backspace but there is another simpler way that will save you a ton of time when you are editing on your timeline so there's two keyboard shortcuts that you really need to think about and that is q and w and that basically means that if I want to cut off the rest of this clip, I can just hit W on my keyboard and everything on this side will shift over and it will be deleted. The same also goes for the front of the clip. So if I want to trim this and ripple delete that, I can just hit Q on my keyboard and everything will shift over and be deleted and you don't have to do this cut and V to delete them. It's, it will save you a lot of time. So the next keyboard shortcut that I really enjoy is J, K, and L. L, if you click that on the keyboard, you will see that the clip goes in normal speed. If you hit that two times, it will go faster and faster. And the more you hit it, the faster the timeline will go. The same also go with J. So J is backwards. So you can scrub back on the timeline here. And I'm just using my keyboard right now to control it and to stop it. Just hit K. So L is forwards, K is stop and J is backwards. And you can click many times on J, uh, on a J or L to make it go faster or slower on your timeline. And with this, you can also use the cut tool. So if I want to cut in the middle of this clip right here, I can just hit Command K and that will allow me to make a cut in the middle of the clip and I can use L to move forwards, stop and use the ripple tool Q. And as you can see, if I'm going through this timeline right here, let's say I'm using L to move forwards, K to stop, Q to delete the first row of the clip, then move forward in the timeline and hit W to delete that. And let's say I want to use Command K, delete that, and then Ripple delete that. So it's really easy to use. I got a video on more video editing techniques that you can check out right here. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future filmmaking and video editing tutorials. See you next time.